Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. School is in session. Today's project is them little, these right here, that's that Venturier for a one, it's a one and one half horsepower M, type M, model M, McCormick Deering, made by IHC. That's the project for today, is a Venturier to go right in yonder. And if you, if you see that depth right there, and just a regular old giveaway scale, it's uh, it's three sixteenths deep. I mean, just you can get the micrometer out the depth gauge, whatever you want, but it will be three sixteenths deep. As is the, the mixer body itself is three sixteenths deep. Also, they they will all be the same. The uh, and these they, they do not be confused as the designation of a carburetor and a mixer. It's really hard to get these M's to run slow because they don't they don't have an idle circuit in there. It's just that one you get it or you don't. We're, we're going to make some needle valves. We're going to make some siphons. We're going to make some uh, uh, just assorted parts for this engine. We need and and the reason we're on this today is I need about 20 of these. And, and I'll just a couple examples. With let's talk about them on the get go, and then we'll carry on with it. But I made this right here some years ago, and if y'all see that 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 taper in there, I actually uh, that that is a rounding shape in there. It was one of them hot rod engines I built, and that was a uh, to kind of it was a fugal attempt at uh, <laughs> tuning up a mixer and this one that's uh, just a good example of something that I made years ago and that's what we're making today these venturiers okay the original one this is this is the only example of a factory original one I have that's in good shape okay but you need that up to a point we can you can actually make these without a existing venturier and the, what uh, the reason that I started making these on the get go years ago, I ordered this Ventura right here, and you can tell it's the right one because it says M one and a half horsepower on it. I ordered this thing, a Ventura sleeve, from a uh, supplier, and this is what I got in the mail. This thing right here, and I looked at that and I says, my, 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 my. You know what was? <laughs> it was. It, well, you see what I think about it. Just have a good life and throw it aside as an example of what not to do. Do not do this right here or this. Do not do this. This was actually in a engine that I purchased some time ago, and all it is is a piece of aluminum pipe cut off to length, and the length is. Now let's do some math here. Uh, the three sixteenths depth and the three sixteenths depth, the top and the bottom, those two measurements, if you add them together, is uh, let's say 374, you know, just thinking out loud on the thousandths. Okay, that's that's the. If you put the top on the, if you put the top on the on the housing, now let's get one over here. The housing here, the the main body and the top. If you put them together with no gasket, okay, that will be that dimension will be 374. Okay, let's assume that the gaskets that I use are 35 thousandths, and. 0 0.035, 30 thousandths. Okay, and you add all that together, what do you, what do you get there? 409, okay, and that way you'll have a good fitting tight. You, want, you, you do not want the interior sleeve to be too tall as the hole that two pieces apart is what is the point here. 
the the and and this this right here that's a half of one that I got out of a, a, a housing and and I took I, I have taken uh, probably forty of these apart and you will be hard pressed to save one on an original engine they just break right half in two but if you measure this together like this right here the tallness will be this four. It'll be somewhere in that range around 4.0. And this one, what I'm talking about, they'll break apart like this, okay? If this is all you got and you need to know how tall the factory one was, you can put them together like that and then put your caliper on there. And that one right there is actually 396. Uh, the other one right here, that's so I uh, tend to build them somewhere. And the one that I did order, it's, um, it's 4.06. Uh, which is in the ballpark. It's and it's one inch on the outside diameter. So actually, it's a couple thousand smaller because that's what the hole is in yonder. And that and that right there is one inch. Uh, if you make it a couple of thousand smaller, it will fit in there, taking rust in consideration. Okay, now that's that's what in the inside the inside diameter. If you do not have one, then just measure the inside. Of this right here will give you the top measurement and then you measure the bottom inside will give you the bottom measurements I'm just gonna leave you with some homework you know if you're going to be making one of these right here you're gonna to have to do this preliminary stuff on your own the what I'm gonna make them out of is uh, uh was some time ago I disassembled a old junk coin operated Pepsi machine and, and there was about oh there was several of these pieces of aluminum there were standoffs in there and it's a real high grade closed grain aluminum whatever they are I found these to be really good material to build these venturi sleeves out of and the larger larger horsepower you just increase the size to whatever size the mixer is you can do your own math on that so we're going to set all of this aside and get on with the project. So we, it's kind of like a production. It gets real easy after you made one or two. It's that first one that you do the the uh, blueprint. Once you get that, you got her going. Let's get on with the uh, project.